Honda's Marc Marquez grabbed headlines by qualifying on pole in Portimao, but in the race, he was in the limelight for all the wrong reasons. He ruined the race for Miguel Oliveira and Jorge Martin with an ambitious move. Some riders have now reacted. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Moto World, Marc Marquez heavily criticised for causing crashes. Pramac's Jorge Martin started off by speaking about Marc's late braking. If you have someone in front of you, then you have to have their braking point in mind. You can't brake like you're alone on the track. He then gave his thoughts on Mark being given a double long lap penalty for the next race. In the riders' briefings, they always tell us that if we keep doing things like that, we'll get harsher penalties. He keeps doing things like that, so maybe he should get a tougher sentence. But as we know, we're talking about Mark, and they won't do anything. RNF Aprilia's Miguel Oliveira, who was wiped out in the incident, didn't say much. It was an overtaking attempt on Marquez's part, a bit ambitious, he didn't have room to stop. He avoided the rider in front of him, who was Martin, and ended up on me. It is what it is. His factory Aprilia teammate, Alicia Spargaro, however, didn't mince his words. Ridiculous. For me, they have to ban him from one race, minimum. Fast feed. Yamaha's Fabio Quattararo revealed that they had a lot of new items, went back to basics, back to last year's setup. We couldn't figure it out, so we went back to last year's setup and it was better. We're in the same place as last year, maybe a bit better with more top speed, but we must work to improve it. Pramax Johan Zarco stated that everyone says I need to win. I want to as well. I have almost nothing to lose. We tried to change the approach on my Ducati to use my strong points and my riding style. Defending world champion Peco Bagnaia believes that in Argentina, of course the level will be different. Without the test, the difference between the riders is a bit bigger. We'll see. KTM's Jack Miller suggested the new package has immense potential, but it's about unlocking that potential. Hopping off the best bike on the grid and hopping into this project is an awesome challenge. It will flourish. Aprilia's Maverick Vinales revealed that he tried, 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 braked very late to overtake Peko, but my rear tyre was already too low and I couldn't do anything else. And Mooney VR46 rider Marco Batsecki stated this podium is for the team. They did an incredible job. Is the double long lap penalty a good enough punishment for Marc Marquez? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.